Hey guys, your boy Cooper here, and welcome back to my Liverpool FIFA 16 career mode. Where last time I left, have I picked up league wins against Swansea and Newcastle? Yes, that's where we last left off. As you see, there was supposed to be in our episode where I played Leicester and Wofford, and my Elgato fucked up. It froze in the middle of recording. Why does this sometimes happen? Can somebody please explain why this sometimes happens? It is so annoying. It is so annoying. And it's not just FIFA. It has happened on a few occasions for different games. And I cannot for the life of me figure out why. It just randomly freezes. Won't no go past a certain point. And I'm like... What is the freaking problem? What is the problem? What is the actual problem? Why won't it go past a certain point? Why won't it record the full thing like I want it to? In any event, and, and you missed the, game, the cup game against Leicester or Silver Lions. I'm playing them again in this episode. Oh. So, I'll try and and at least recreate the 2 0 win that I got. And against Watford, I picked up a 4 0 win, despite the referee clearly being biased. Because Watford should have at least had a few men in the book. And if not one man, should have seen a red card. Yeah, they were pretty dirty in that match. Watford. So, in this episode, I am playing games against West Brom, Leicester. And Sunderland, yes, today is a special episode where I play all three. Because, as I'm sure you noticed, the date it is the 23rd, which means I am, I am three games away. And once I play these three games, I'll be into the January transfer window where I will be making a signing. And I will be looking to perhaps let some players go. It'll be a sad day, depending on. Nah, I mean the players that I let go will not be used. They, they are surplus to requirement, and they are not needed. I have James Milner listed. I have Bogdan listed. I have no idea why we signed Bogdan. Another terrible decision by Brendan Rodgers. There's luckily he got sacked. I am I did not this Christian Benteke, but if I get a good offer for him, I will accept it because Benteke does not match the way I play. E FIFA, I do not always cross in. I cross in on occasions, and I'm not gonna change my play style to suits. Um, thirty-two million. In Belgian guy when I have a perfectly good Belgian there wearing number 27 who fits my style perfectly thank you very much but Christian no you're just not what we're looking for here another bad sign see Brendan this is why you got sacked I mean Jurgen Klopp wouldn't have signed a guy like Christian Metecki who clearly was not what we needed and not even the right style player. You know what? Let's just not mention him that manager anymore. From now on, if we do mention him, I will just call him that manager. Because that's all he'll ever be, is that manager. That manager who made terrible signings. And let us practically nowhere except one decent second year finish where he cocked it up. He could have won the league. Probably should have won the league. He, he, but no, he cocked it up. So he's just that manager. In any event, I have three matches in this episode, so I need to focus on West Brom, who are doing very well in the uh, the league. Real shit. Still not figure out how to t 
turn that off and make sure it doesn't come back on. Nice goal there by Jordan Anderson. This is actually ironic because West Brom are the team I have next in the Capital One Cup. After they picked up a shock 2-0 win against Gareth Bale's former club, Spurs. Yeah, they beat Spurs. I was really expecting Spurs to win that match, but no. West Brom got a 2-0 win there. Playing really well this season. And credit to him. Not much they could have done against that Henderson Thunderstrike. Fifth goal in the league already. Oh, not a prolific goal scorer is Jordan Henderson, but no. Any time he gets a goal, well, I'll take it. Especially if it puts me 1 0 up. No, that guy won't get booked. So, uh. Come on, go. Go. Whip it in. Origi! Boom. See? Why would I need Christian Mateke anyway? Look at this guy. He's good in the air as well. Oh. So, yeah. I don't need Christian Mateke. Origi is all I need. Plus, I have Ings and Correa. And if need be, I could bring back uh, Luis Alberto. Or even dare I say it, Mario Balotelli. Three nil. No, this isn't looking good for the uh, for that uh, for the uh, Colin Cup semi final, is it? <laughs> it's not looking good for a close match. Although for those two legs, I will be playing the uh, second team, so maybe uh, West Brom will have better luck against them. Although I wouldn't count on it. Rain, Continuo, Regi, that's on the top of all the Royce, Continuo, smashes at home, hmm. hang on a second, wait a minute, what the hell, West Brom just, just off of being uh, Spurs 2 nothing, and I'm smashing them, granted I beat Spurs as well, but Sorry, uh, hit uh, Mike with my thumb there. Continue with his fifth goal of the season. My central boys have ten between them. Good for them. Even if Henderson is playing a bit out of position at CDM. Or he shouldn't be playing him at CDM, but I am. There you go. I have to play his position with... with a ca a minute. Or I can't really use Continuo to his full potential. Because he's not... I mean, you know, he's okay as a CM. But he plays better as a cam. I mean, look. How many CMs do you see getting into the box? You not? I mean, um, 
probably Yaya Torre would be the only one that comes to mind. I mean, I'm sure there are more, but Yaya Torre is probably the most common. Yo, bell ripping these guys a new one. There we go, it's half time. They're playing Chelsea. Stoke being Man City. Stoke are being Man City. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. Wow, Rigi is wrecked. I might have to actually play the uh, youths in this episode to like give the uh, big boys a rest. I mean, I knew that might happen during this uh big break that's that's one of the uh, upsides to having a really big squad so it looks like the uh, the secondary boys are gonna get a run out in the Premier League it's gonna be against uh, Leicester probably because yeah and well play either first team against Leicester if they're tired The second team is more than capable. In fact, they just beat Leicester, actually. The 2 0 win was with the second team. So, uh, Leicester will be playing the exact same 11. Rain, put it home! Yo, don't hear at the guy in front of you. <laughs> Royce, whip it in. No, 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 no. Wow, that was a terrible slide in. No. Guys, got that? Bill, whip it. Rondon, Bell, Laporte, Tino, Laporte, Henderson. Those a uh, string of fucked up, didn't they? Uh, there we go, there we go. Things are getting back to normal back over there at the uh, at the um at the Britannia. Sorry, space there out there a sec for a second on the uh, name of Stokes Stadium. Don't know why, but I just did. <laughs> I remember now, it's the Britannia. How could we all forget the Britannia? Isn't it just the loveliest Yo! Aw! Oh. Bell! Straight Foster. Klein. Backhead Henderson. Switch the play to Rodriguez. Come on, Ricardo. Use your for ring announcement skills. I don't know how they'd help you here, but they will. <laughs> ah, he didn't use them. Rigi. Rodriguez. 
Penalty. No. Fair enough. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure a 90th minute substitution with two minutes added on. Yeah, that'll help. Hope save this match. Or not. Or I'll make it 5 0. Marco Royce with his ninth of the season. Very good from Marco. Far cry from what uh, Mr. Bale is doing there over on the other side. He hasn't. He's only scored like two. But yeah, 5 0 win over start. Wooden game down. to go Leicester and Stoke did me some good actually they helped Chelsea and City drop two points each lovely my game against West Ham has been rescheduled it's not really yeah I'm I'm with you Philip. I know you're all freaking tired. Ooh, big blow for Chelsea. Matic out for two months. Yikes. But yeah, playing Leicester again. At home. Again. With the same team. Again. Give them the. Fury. He of your wrath, Tillemans. Oh, that was terrible. Two on two defending. <laughs> that was terrible. Two on two defending. Yeah, nobody cares. If I remember it, I might bring on Torre for his Liverpool Saints on. Is that the right word? Well, the one good thing for Colo that he'll never forget from his time at Liverpool is the Colo Colo Yo Yeah 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 song. Probably sung at him more than it is at Yaya. I'm sure whatever club picks him up in January will uh, we'll have no problem singing it. Well, they won't pick him up in January, they'll probably sign a pre contract agreement. Means I'll have him until the end of the season. But chances are I'm not gonna play him at all. Chan Moreno. Mares with the block. Chan. Oh, wow, that was a terrible touch by Telemans. Bit unexpected. I'm going to be looking for Sewell. Big tall man. Where were you? 
Der Dude? Come on, no. Come on. Vardy, ooh, ooh. Vardy is a danger. We all know, we've all seen how well he's doing in real life. How well Leicester are doing in real life for, in general as well. Well, they're doing very well. All credit to him. Career. Ah, oh, good. Challenge by Hunt, which has been given as a free. Um, okay. Fair enough. Wait, did he book Hunt? Surely he didn't. Wait, another terrible free kick. Don't feel bad, Tillmans. It wasn't your fault. Go, oh, Danny. Go. Whip it in. Man, I was there. To the man's. Ah, oh, good block. Come on, oh, Skiglio. Corner. Cinnamons! Wow, I hit, should not have hit that first time. Should have taken a touch. Should have thought about it. Should have treated it with the respect. Chicken in a nice bottle of water. I'm sure my friend here in the blue drink water could ain't could uh, hook me up. <laughs> King, of course. It was a terrible attempt at a joke. Because the guy has a silly surname. Way yes, Korea. With probably one of the worst headed goals I'm, you're ever gonna see, but it's in, so it doesn't really fucking matter. From despair to. Good joy. Fifth goal in the week. Same as Continuo and Anderson. Not oddly enough. That's really got a sting, Leicester. I'm not gonna lie, Leicester are probably the uh, strongest team defensively I've come up against. They're really tough to break down. Them in Newcastle. Oh. Fairness to. Uh, no disrespect to Newcastle, Leicester took longer to break down than in this match. Going. Ooh. It almost Not really, but it almost did. Kinda. Almost. Not really. That was a t
people. What are they? Now we got free. Now we got Nice. 